here we got the um, magical um, chameleon tactical dipole antenna. Now, this is what makes it tactical. The wire is green. <laughs> November 9, Charlie, November Fox. November 9, Charlie, November Fox. November 9, Charlie, November Fox. November 9, was that Charlie, November Fox? November 9, Charlie, November Fox to Alpha, Whiskey India. Roger, 3 Alpha Whiskey Victor, thanks for the contact. PRZ, Kilo 1 8 Delta Fox, Southfield Bay. Woohoo, we're up to three contacts already. Okay, well, at least we know the antenna works. But does it work well? <laughs> Oh, uh, okay, we're gonna do an antenna change. I took the chameleon antenna down. It's just, um, the bands are way too crowded for it to be an, an, an effective antenna to break the pileups. Um, we're gonna use the uh, 80 meter off center fed dipole. I've had very good luck with this on winter field day and field day two years ago. So, um, put this one on the air. That's a knot. Yeah, it's a slip knot. Do you not like my knot? Because the cool thing about this knot is the tighter this pulls, the tighter the knot gets. Yeah, but now you got to untie it. Yeah. November 9, Charlie, November Fox. November 9, Charlie, November Fox. November 9, Charlie, November Fox, your One Echo, South Dakota. Roger, One Echo, South Dakota, 2 Alpha, Wisconsin, Whiskey, India. Thank you and good luck, QRZ from Kilo Zero, Hotel Sierra. Now we're getting somewhere. Yep, now we're getting somewhere. Oh, we're in the uh, Shawamigan Nicolay near Clam Lake. 7 3, good luck. This is November 9, Charlie, November Fox, field day. Oh, we got a towel or something? Hey, Jeez. I think we're gonna have to <laughs> take a brief break here. <laughs> yeah. I figured out what the Revenge of Black Lake is gonna be. <laughs> You're making a big pot of Revenge of Black Lake. <laughs> <laughs>
November 9er, Charlie November Fox. November 9er, Charlie November Fox. QSL, QSL, 2 Alpha, Wisconsin, Whiskey India. QSL 3 Alpha Whiskey India. QRZ. <laughs> I know that call. And that's our uh, field day adventure for 2022. I'm with Travis, uh, W9HDG, over here in Black Lake, uh, with, uh, deep in the uh, heart of the Shawamigan Nicolay National Forest. And in the footprint of Elf. In the footprint of Elf. You may have remembered that I said that we were going to actually do our field day from the Elf site itself, but Travis took a trip up there, and what did you find? Well, um, <laughs> I found bugs that I swear were like this, <laughs> grass that was probably hip high, and just not what I would call good operating conditions for a 24 hour event. If we were gonna go <laughs> set up for a couple of hours and we wanted to, you know, set up a screen house and pray. And dip ourselves into DEET and... Yeah, uh, <laughs> dip ourselves in DEET and burn some incense and stuff like that. We yep. might have been able to make it work for a couple of hours, but between the forecast where and it rained yesterday... It did rain, that's for sure. Um, and just the bugs and the grass, it just, it wasn't going to work. But this not even a thousand feet that way. Right on the other side of the lake, literally on the, just, just right past the tree line, there is the run where the antenna the antenna goes. Yeah, so, so we're in the footprint of Elf. Yes. So what, even though we didn't get to activate the old base this year, we did get to activate the station. The station, the elf, the elf site. So we're gonna yes. leave it. We're gonna leave it at that. Yes, <laughs> yes. Don't worry. We did not see Joe running around with his with his elf ears. Yep. Yeah, and unfortunately Joe didn't make it. He had to work. So um, we're just gonna pour one out for him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Poor Joe. Yeah. But um, yeah, we had. It was a really good field day experience. It was. It was um, great. Now we had. Uh, let's see. On phone, I did 200 contacts. Uh, 20 and 40 meters primarily. I don't think I really did anything on the other. On I the, think other you bands. got a couple on 15. I get, yeah, one or two on 15. And then you really cleaned house on digital. I sat on digital and I made contacts on 10, 15, 20, and 40. Got a total of 56 of them. Kind of bouncing back and forth between PSK and FT8. Mm -hmm. So there was a little bit of, you know, all right, FT8's not working. I'd bounce over to yep, PSK. Yep. I even made a couple of FT4s. Hey. So it was, it was, it was a lot of fun to just sit there and play the digital in role. The first, and, and for the most part, you did that on the vertical antenna. We had the, yep. um, we had the, the, the MFG whip, I think, or the Wolf River whip set up for, yep. for um, vertical. And then I ran the 80-meter um, off-center fed dipole. I've used that in a couple of other activations, and that works really great. We were thinking about using the uh, Chameleon yep. tactical dipole, too. I've got this antenna that, I need, that I'll have a review on in a week or so, but um, we put it up. And long story short, it's not quite the antenna we want to use for um, heavy band, heavy busy band conditions. Well, and the bands themselves weren't that good either. No, so, no. you know, that, that, that's a compromised antenna like anything that's going to be multi-banded mm -hmm. is. And when you're dealing in a contest situation with bands that weren't in the best conditions, that might have been a little too much of a compromise. We were losing a lot of a lot of efficiency that we needed to to really break through the pileups. Right. So, and we'll talk. I'll talk about more about that in my upcoming review of the Chameleon Tactical Dipole too. But um, but otherwise, you know, beautiful beautiful weekend up here. The yep. mosquitoes were tolerable, I would say. Well, you know, it helps that we were running a couple thermocells. <laughs> the thermocells really worked. Yeah, they saved the day. <laughs> <laughs> and the bug spray and the smoky fire and the rain and now the wind today. The wind today is keeping 
keeping the weak ones away, although we still get some strong ones. There. Right, right. <laughs> Don't forget all the good food. Oh, the food was excellent. That's the best part about field day. It absolutely so, is. Yeah, the, the steak and beans and... Um, the pizzas. The pizzas. Yeah, I don't think we had the pizzas on the video, unfortunately. No, I don't think we got so. pizza video. <laughs> I'll tell you, the pizza went better than last time Michael and I teamed up to do a, an activation out here at Black Lake. Yep. So, but yeah, good food, good company, yeah, lots of fun. Excellent, So, So this is it. This is... This is, um, I guess we'll call it Return to Black Lake. The so Return to Black Lake, We were yes. considering Revenge of Black Lake. But we were struggling. What, how is Black Lake revenging? <laughs> well, other than the rain and the bugs. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So I hope, I hope all, all of your field day experiences were just as much fun. Uh, tell us what, how field day went for you down in the video comments below. I'd love to see that. Uh, but for this time, I'm Michael, KB9VBR. And I'm Travis, W9HDG. Thanks for joining us, 73. 73, everybody. Thank you.